In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to repair Windows 10 if it's not booting up. With this tutorial, we're not going to use any fancy commands, but you do need to have a USB stick and a secondary computer to be able to do this. If you don't, then you can skip to the next video. If you do, you can follow along. So go ahead and insert your USB to your USB port, and then you want to download Hiran's Boot City PE. I'm going to put the link in the description. And then you're going to download Rufus 3.8. And Rufus allows you to create a bootable media drive. Okay, so once you download both of those, go ahead and open Rufus. on the device make sure you have your hard drive your usb drive selected for boot selection you want to select the iso image which is the hbcd pe image click open for the partition scheme i'm just going to do mbr because i have a legacy system or you could do GPT if you have a UFI system. And the way you know which system you have is if you go to system information and look for BIOS mode. If it says legacy, then you do MBR. If it says UFI, then you will do the UFI. But I have another computer that's not working, so I'm just gonna do MBR because it's a legacy computer for the label. Go ahead and put in whatever you like or leave it default. NTFS and then click start. It's going to give you a warning to delete all the data. Go ahead and do so. And this should take about maybe a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your USB drive. All right, now that it finished, go ahead and close. Close all of everything and on the next section, I'm going to show you how to fix your computer. With the uh, USB inserted, you press the F key that you need to go to your BIOS menu. In my case, I had to press F10. Once you press the key, usually it's either F2, F8 or F10 or escape. It will take you to the BIOS menu. I'm going to go to the boot menu and then go to my device priority. I want to make sure my first device is the HDD group, followed by the group priority, making sure the USB disk is just the first one. Right now that I set up my device to boot up from the uh, USB drive, I'm going to go ahead and exit. And saving the changes. Once the computer restarts, it should boot up from my USB disk. You can go ahead and close anything that comes up. It's gonna just gather all your hardware information. Put this to the side. All right, so now what you need to do is you need to click on the start menu here. Go to all programs. Go under Windows Recovery and open Laysoft Windows Recovery. From here, it's going to gather all of your Windows information. the size of the volume and the hard drive. Go ahead and click here on the top where it has your information. Then click OK. All right, what we're gonna do is we're going to click on their boot crash. And depending on what happened in your case, you will select the proper procedure to fix the issue. And it tells you if you select MBR repair, 
these are the symptoms that your computers are having. If this matches your criteria, then you will select MBR repair. If you're just having some issues where Windows is not booting because some boot sector errors, then you would fix the boot sector. If you do a boot it with another system, you could click on rebuild boot menu so that way Windows becomes the primary bootloader. So this will fix your bootloader. The last option here is if you're getting these errors when Windows starts, then you would select this option and then click on missing Windows file repair. The check disk, it checks for any errors on your hard drive. So this is a good test to run if your hard drive is not running properly. In my case, I'm gonna do a MVR repair and I'm gonna click on MVR repair. Okay, it tells me that this operation was completed successfully. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to exit and then I'm going to shut down my computer. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the USB drive. Next step is I'm going to restart the computer. And if everything worked well, Windows should start loading up.